name's Courtney and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a really fun video and that is recreating my favorite YouTubers Instagram photos. It would mean so much to me if you could like this video and subscribe to my channel and let's go ahead and get into this video. idea before basically you take your favorite youtubers and you look through their Instagram and find a photo to recreate you have to find a similar outfit a similar background and do their same pose so the youtubers that I'll be using to recreate their photos are Aspen Ovard, Jess Conti, Mikhail Jancy Smith and Sarah's Day these girls are also beautiful and it was definitely a challenge recreating all of these photos. I'll go ahead and link all of these YouTubers channels in the description below. I just wanted to say a quick thank you to my boyfriend for posing me and taking all of these photos and having patience with me through making this video. The first photo that I chose to recreate was Jess Conti's photo. In this photo she's wearing a green dress with a white background. She was looking down and her legs were crossed. It was pretty simple and she also had waved hair and a simple necklace on. I actually went and I I thrifted a green dress because I didn't have anything like this dress. I went to the courthouse in my hometown and used that as my background for this photo. Let's go ahead and see how that turned out. The next photo that I chose to recreate was another one of Jess Conti's photos and she was wearing this really cute yellow top with black jeans and black boots. I already had black jeans and I already had black boots but I went thrifting to try and find a yellow top since I actually own nothing in yellow. I found this top at Goodwill for $6.99 I believe it was. I found this pose to be way more difficult than I had anticipated, mostly just the way her legs were positioned and the ledge that I was sitting on was so small. I think she was sitting more on a wider concrete so that probably would have been a little bit easier to relax into the position but I found it extremely hard to recreate this one. The next YouTuber that I chose to recreate their Instagram photo was Aspen Ovard. Aspen Ovard is a lot shorter like I am, so I felt like it was a little bit easier for me and it helps that we're also both blonde. This first photo was really hard to get the right angle and I happened to have a bathing suit that was similar to hers. I just used that bathing suit and edited the photo to look a little bit more similar in color. She also had painted her nails blue, so I did that as well. I'm pretty proud of this one and I think that's mostly because of the editing. And I actually flipped the photo because my pool had weird shadow on one side, so I laid on the other side and flipped the photo so that it would be the same as Aspen's. So let's go ahead and see the comparison. But with this next photo, it is Aspen with a camera and it's a pretty simple one with a white background and a plant. I went thrifting at Goodwill and found a very similar dress with the same neckline for four dollars so pretty cheap, and I'll definitely be wearing that again because I think it's super cute. I actually had a hard time trying to recreate her hair, which you wouldn't think would be that difficult, but her bun was so specific and like a messy bun, and usually since being a dancer, I do more of slick back, clean bun. This one, it was more getting the angle, so it was getting the right head tilt and also the angle of the camera. Let's go ahead and see how this one turned out. one that I chose to recreate of Aspen's. I had the same black tank from Free People and I had simple denim shorts and she waved her hair. I think her hair is about the same length so just curling it made it pretty similar. I definitely did not have a Dodgers hat. Gotta put that Ace hat on instead. This one is pretty easy because it was more of a portrait. It was probably one of my favorites. Let's see how this one turned out. Mikhail Jancy 
Smith's photo and she's one of my favorite YouTubers. She had a very simple black dress with some layered necklaces, waved hair. I think the neckline on my dress was pretty similar to hers. This dress I happen to have already from Urban Outfitters. It was more just the, the pose, trying to get the pose very similar. I think that this photo captures her happiness so well. It was fun to try and recreate this photo of hers. This is photo number two of Mikhail Jancy Smith's. I have the same pants, they're Lululemon joggers, and I also have these wedges from Crossroads and just a simple plain white sports bra. She also had her hair in a high ponytail. I knew that there would be somewhere in my hometown that had a similar background to this. This one took the longest out of all the photos and it was probably the hardest also to recreate just because of getting the hand positioning and the head tilt just right. The lighting was a little bit different, but I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. So here is the next recreation of Mikhail Jancy Smith's photo. of Mikhail Jancy Smith's photos. I made a little clip before filming this one, so I'll go ahead and just insert that clip here. Okay, so now I am doing Mikhail Jancy Smith's photo. I have my hoops in, I have waved hair, and my Free People burgundy tank. I also put a little bit of lip gloss on to be a little bit more like hers, and we'll see how it looks after taking the pictures. Sarah's Day is one of my favorite YouTubers and I really wanted to recreate some of her photos. I found it so hard because she is just so tan and she has some really tropical backgrounds living in Australia. But these are the two that I managed to recreate. The first one is this really cute photo of her enjoying some frozen yogurt. She had some really cute sunglasses, her nails were painted a mint blue color, wearing a white crop top and some light blue denim bottoms. The main difference that I see in this photo is the angle of our straps and also she She's just way more tan. I wouldn't say this one is a fail. But we'll just go ahead and see how this one turned out. and it was Sarah's day's photo. It is Sarah against a white wall, leaning against some blue brick. She's wearing all black with a little gray sweater, has her sunglasses on and holding a coffee. I happened to find a local small shop in my hometown that had this really cute brick feature. It was also about 100 degrees during this day, so standing outside in all black, long sleeves was so hot, but it was really fun and so worth it for how the photos turned out. We have two versions of this one. I have one that is unedited in the sense of the blue in the tile. And then I have one that I decided to Photoshop and draw in the blue tile to make it look even more similar. I'll show you both versions and starting with the unedited clip. seen all of my photos I'm gonna give you my top three favorites I'm gonna say that my top three favorites are Aspen Ovard's with the baseball hat Mikhail Jancy Smith's with the stairs and last but not least Sarah's day with the brick wall let me know down in the comments what top three photos were your favorite thanks for hanging out with me and watching this video I hope to see you in another video real soon thanks bye